Hey everybody, welcome back to How Farms Work. Now, what Travis and I are going to be doing today is we are going to be hauling out manure from the pole shed out at my place. Uh, it's been sitting like this all winter. It's time to haul out some poop. And where we're going to be taking it is to my 11 acre continuous cornfield, uh, about a little more, over a half mile away down the road. So, um, the reason that I wanted to put it out there is because it is in continuous corn, and I feel that. Uh, by spreading it out there, it can kind of put some nutrients back in the soil. And, uh, yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing for the most part of the day. I'm not exactly sure how long it'll take, but uh, we're going to be hooking the 76 up to the manure spreader. And i got to feed these guys yet. And um, we're going to be bringing the bobcat out here to fill it. So let's get started. We're heading over to the farm now, and the reason that we're hauling out now uh, we could have been doing it a little sooner because the snow melted off, but the reason that we waited so long was because um, I wanted to wait for the field to dry up. I didn't want to go out there and make huge ruts out in the field because we did disc it down last fall. And um, once we're through spread manure on it, we're going to go through and chisel it down again to mix that manure in the soil. But uh, yeah, that's why we haven't really gotten it done um, any sooner than we have now that it's really dry and it's only early March, I guess. It's still pretty early. Rocket, you ready? You ready? Come on. Come on. Get up there. Come on, Rocket. Come on. Come on, Booch. You can do it. Come on. There you go. Good boy. Now I've got the tractor hooked up to the spreader. Got my Booch in the cab. Co-pilot. And before we get started, I just want to say to anybody who's going to say it, I know people are going to mention it if I don't say something. Um, about why don't our, we clean our tractors like the 82 is covered in dust right now well uh, we've had, been having some pretty wet days here and we've been hauling manure off and on on the wetter days as you can tell with the manure spreader it's got a bunch of mud on the front of it and uh, I don't really feel like we should clean our tractors when when we go to use them they're just gonna get muddy again right away anyway um, so when we went through we went through and cleaned out the 76 and we got the salt off of it after the last snowstorm that we had so as long as there isn't any salt on it the mud is perfectly fine until we go out and actually start doing some actual field work with the tractors because otherwise no matter what we do they're going to get muddy again so and i really wish i could clean off the windows right now but we don't have our hoses hooked up here so anyway that's why it's not clean today there's my 11 acre field that we're going to be hauling to Now my biggest concern with driving out here in this field is by causing ruts. I absolutely hate ruts. So uh, I'm trying to stay on the corn, the majority of the corn. I'm trying not to drive where there's just bare dirt. And luckily for me, uh, we didn't chisel it last fall. So uh, if it was chiseled, we'd have a lot more loose dirt and it would be a lot it'd be more difficult to haul out here but the ground is really hard here but in some places it's really soft so you have to be careful with where you're driving i'm going to be driving up on top of the hill closer to the tree line maybe not real close to the tree line because i don't want to get into wet spots too much and i'm going to start working down because typically nutrients when you apply nutrients they will they have a tendency to flow downhill when water picks it up so uh, the idea is to start off at the top and then if we make our way down the hill even better, so um, Let's get started spreading This load is very heavy because it is mostly water I need to figure out which gear I'm gonna drive in but I'm spreading a good 30 feet from the tree line it's not too wet right here, so like I said, my biggest concern is the spreader 
causing ruts. I'm not so worried about the tractor because the tractor has wider tires on it, but the spreader has those itty bitty little narrow tires on it. And when you have a heavy load, they have a tendency to sink into the ground. finished up and it took about 12 loads total and it took me about 20 minutes to go round trip that includes 
getting filled up and then going out the road and coming back. So that's about it for this video, guys. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to check us out on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. Our usernames are How Farms Work. And be sure to add us on Facebook and follow us on there. So see you next time, guys.